My voice yet reaches you. Stop it. I am glad. OMG. Hear. Feel. Think. You stand where you stand by virtue of the road you walked to get there. The last one. Harry Pickle. Look at Harry Pickle. Does he have a Harry Pickle? I bet. You bet. <laughs> what is he wearing in his face? This is like a chin sharpener thing. Weird. He must be a new uh, recruit. You know, that looks weird. What is it? Getting up in someone's face. <laughs> I bet you are about Harry Pickles. Confused by this face. All right, Harry Pickle. Still get confused around here. What are you riding? Are you on your hermit crab? Yeah. Where are you going? Shit, I'm running into walls again. This is how he runs. Look what he's doing. It's hilarious. It's like he's cleaning his hands. Yeah. The next ship to. S oh, no. Wait. You started it. What? This is the thing that'll make our thing go away. Are you so excited about that? I am. Wait. You done I, you done it now, you done it now. No! Mine's already gone! How is yours gone? Ah, oh, when did it disappear? When did it disappear? When's mine gonna disappear? I think mine's gone too. Yours is gone. Mine is gone. Stop when did that. it disappear? We're gonna have to ah we're gonna have yeah, to look back and see. Post production yeah, that's T V. Monday T V. <laughs> no. it, it did happen. When did it happen? We're in there. We're in there. Oh, man. It was very you guys are exciting. Vets now. You guys are vets now. Uh, now we can't. We don't even we know We can't when use this as an v. excuse anymore. <laughs> when do we lose the V? I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying. Could you please explain yourself? Shh, you don't need to know. Please Please explain. You still need the sprout icon. Okay. You still have a sprout icon above this head. It's okay. <laughs> CB, do you have some time to talk? Show enough. What's up? I would like to gather everyone in Don's respite whilst you search. The Telophoroi stated purpose is to recreate the final days of Eon's past. An apocalyptic event that would result in the destruction of all we hold dear. Already have these towers of theirs been the cause of untold suffering. Countless innocents kidnapped and imprisoned, their faith perverted for primal summonings. And unless we find a way to deal with the corruptive aura surrounding the spires, we can't even get close enough to rescue anyone. Those shielded with the blessing of light seem able to resist being tempered at least. But after what happened to Ehrenwald and Fordola, we need to be very, very careful about how we proceed. What'd you find? Did you, oh, are you reading spoiler? No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, but but I am on Reddit. Uh, that that is spoiler central. What did you read? Tella, familiar Greek root meaning far away or distant. Feroi, being the plural of phoros. The phoros was the levies collected by Athens from the um, Delian League constituents during the Persian War. I mentioned last week I had a, a Greek friend. I intentionally made a Greek friend on, on Twitch. And I knew he was going to have a great time in Walker. 
Uh, Telephroi means the bringer of the end. Yeah. He's just, he cut all the shit. He's bilingual. It oh. means the bringer of the end. That's oh, that. oh, that's great. That's cool. Great guy. I would love to see you guys like getting with him too, but he hasn't streamed in a long time. Super cool. Uh, okay. Can you drop his in the, in the discord? Sure. Yeah. It literally means Telephroi means end walker. Oh. Or bringer of the end. Yeah. 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 Yeah, while these threats close to home are of paramount concern, we mustn't lose sight of the situation in Garlemald. As you know, the Telafroy are under the leadership of Van Daniel and one other delightful fellow, Zenas Ye Galvis. Galvis, the crown prince and our dear friend. To date, he's reclaimed his old body, murdered Emperor Varus, and plunged Garlemald into an even deeper pit of chaos. The capital has probably seen the worst of it. For a good while there, it saw the bloodiest fighting in the War of Succession. But that has since changed, and in troubling ways. I, During our reconnaissance, the air was not once rent by the barking of cannons or the cries of discord. It was an eerie fog of silence, which did blanket that ruined city. The inhabit inhabitants appeared to have been tampered with nary a word spoken did they labor to transform the palace into a soaring edifice born of nightmares. If they were indeed made thralls, it seems safe to assume that these events, too, were orchestrated by the Telophoroi. Do we ever decide if it was Telophoroi? It's both. It's both. Telephoroi? Yeah. It's all of the above. Telophoroi. Telophoroi. An army of primals is awful enough, but in light of recent developments, I fear it's only the prelude to an even greater catastrophe. We need to devise a means to counter this threat and quickly before our allies are overwhelmed. We will find a way in Charlie, and I am sure of it. That. Well, from the trailer, you found something in the in the book, Master. Yeah, Charlie has been a big bait the entire time, right? Yeah. Yeah, they've been talking about Charlie forever yeah, since the beginning. Master Fortuno's comment regarding the final days were curious, to say the least. The forum knows more than it is letting on. Sorry to interrupt. We've just received word from Mistress Cryo. She says that arrangements for your visit have been finalized. You're to head to Limsa Limonza and board the ship next, uh, sh the next ship bound for Charlian. And on arrival, present yourselves as associates of the students of Baldesian. Come to assist with the order's restoration. Love it. No side quests. Let's go. Nice. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, right. I think that's the point, right? Like, we're done with all the menial stuff. The arrangements may sure. be settled, but what of your thoughts? They must race at the prospect of returning home after so long. I am eager to see it, of course. Of course, <clears throat> we should set off at once. Here we go. Oh, cute little character moment. Iskinia did not have to say that. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> then I'll accompany you to the docks. You need at least one person there to wave and cry and wish you a safe journey to Taro's that perfect person to do that. Or she could just come with us. Not, not Bodrick no. going through this with my wife and making the Taro like a total Starbucks. Like, hey, you know, very, you know from the very really? beginning. <laughs> yeah, I do, I do. But you know, it's it's hard to go back that far and like imagine her, you know, she was always her, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah she, person in the world. pretty constant. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's here. Everyone's here, which is good because I've already paid for your passage and the fee is non-refundable. The ship for Charlian should be pulling into port soon, so please follow me and have all your luggage close at hand. <laughs> yes, look at it. <laughs> oh no, is my button broken? No, it hey, just won't post. Loading our cargo. We should be ready to depart right on schedule, or so I'm told. I fix it so it doesn't keep Excellent. posting Excellent. It is nice to have a smooth beginning to one's journey, at the very least. It's funny. Is it? What's funny? It's funny. You're always funny. Master Louis Soir came here on a ship very much like this one. Wait, can I, may I? And yeah. now, your first, years your later, first time... the street urchin he befriended that day is bound for his mentor's homeland. With his many grandchildren, no less. That's nice. Aye. It is upon well, that reflection that enough. every twist of time's river and fate's winds are brought into sharp relief. Thou hast matured much in the intervening years, 
Wert thou not caught attempting to relieve Master Louisois of his purse scant moments after he made landfall upon this dock? <laughs> oh, really? Now that's a tale I'd like to hear. <laughs> I think they talked about it, didn't they? When he first... Will this be not. your first visit to Charlie and Sir Estinian? No. Sir Estinian? <sighs> Are we strangers newly met? Why this stiff formality? <laughs> Why is he calling him Sir? I, uh, merely meant it as a professional courtesy, since we are now colleagues in an official sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather you dispense with the sirs, especially in private company. <laughs> or I'll be forced to respond in kind, little Lord Alphano. Tiny little lord. You've little made your point, lord. Painfully well. <laughs> <laughs> Better. Why doesn't she just come with us? Are you all right, Tataru? You seem positively distraught. Distraught? Me? Don't be silly. I think it's lovely that they get to see their homeland. It's just... We're trying to thwart the schemes of an army hell-bent on destroying the world. And, once again... I have to stay behind and worry that this is the last time I'll get to see my friends. <laughs> Why would you say that to Tataru? What, the second one? No sense worrying about the things <laughs> we're powerless to change. It's very 12-step, but very... Uh, I'll bring them back. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. I'll babysit all of them. Yeah. Why try? But fuck that. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. <laughs> oh, good. You're still here. How are we boulder? We beat Hori Boulder Hori. before. Coltenay! Oh. What brings you all this way? Coltenay. It's not Coltenay. <laughs> <laughs> Which was this the maelstrom and the cobbles with a lunar primal operation? So we thought we'd see you off before heading to the tower. Mm. Flamine and the others wish you all a safe journey and promise that they'll look after things here until you return. Might we uh, correct you in pronunciation? It's Flahamen. <laughs> <laughs> Is not <laughs> Lahaman. It's Lamine. We will too, of course. Aye. We, your fellow signs of the seventh dawn, will do our part to ensure the end of the world won't happen on our watch. Oh, good. That's good to know. All right. We set the sail. All aboard for Charlian. It's time. It is time. I too hearken back to my Realm Reborn days and put on my spiky crown thing. Mm. Really holding. I, I then we a must delay like no a longer. A we will Easter contact egg. you the moment yeah. we learn all to value. <laughs> Wish us luck. I'm trying to reserve myself. Uh. <laughs> Have a safe journey, and please, please, be careful. We will, Tataru.
And so you venture forth unto the unknown. A fate beyond the horizon that cannot be divined. A future undefined and in flux. In uncertain times, naught but the simplest words of wisdom will suffice. I was about to say, this sounds like Emmett That Salt. which lives is destined to die. Love leads to loss. Every beginning has an end. Treasure every moment, every step of your descent. Depths where souls and stars rest. Find your truth. Don't get distracted. That's not for you to read. That's for chat. AI bot is very distracting. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm not getting distracted. <laughs> right. That's I, not. I, I, yeah, I've been on this. I've watched this probably over a hundred times. But Have with you, you really? guys, it's different. Oh, for sure. Yeah, don't like with his animalistic gaming. I'm I'm on, on the story pit piece of it. <gasps> Such a good song. Hey, uh... yes. Feel. The day has barely dawned, my fellow earlier riser. Though we're hardly alone in that. Envious of those still sleeping soundly, no doubt. Called out to you, you say? Hmm. I've heard nothing myself. In any case, I dare say the sea air will do you good. Why not join the others on deck? Charlian should be coming into view at any moment. My voice yet reaches you. Stop it. I am glad. OMG. Hear. Feel. Think. And thus do we meet face to face at last. Just my there. warrior of light, guided by the crystal. Oh my god. for the, the sink moment. After your sojourn in the first, I believe you have your answer. 
You have gained an understanding of what I truly am. What Eidolon has always been. A primal. She just done just like said it flat out. You know what I am. Zodiac was created to forestall the apocalypse which threatened the ancient world. And I was brought forth to bind him. Yet seven times now, those who would orchestrate a return to that bygone era have rejoined a shard to the god I had sundered. The greater his strength grows, the swifter does mine own diminish. The power to draw your mind into the rift betwixt is no longer mine to wield. Yet though it taxes me sorely, I dare not leave these words unsaid. Even bereft of my guidance, you and your companions have accepted the burden of this star's troubled past. A conjunction has begun to form, an intertwining of your time and mine. Wheels shudder and turn. Conflict looms. Monumental. Which will decide the fate of this world and all life upon it. When you truly understand what is at stake, and your journey has prepared you to surmount the insurmountable, Then shall I honor the promise made in another time, another age. What promise? Cast your peepers to the four, folks. Charlians, just over yonder. I will not keep you further. Your traveler's heart must yearn to behold this unfamiliar land. We shall meet again, and soon. What a fine morning. Oh, oh still a bit stiff, though. <laughs> and a good morning to you, too. Taking a look at the island already? Not yet. Then let's go. Let's go. Might still be room in the prow if we're lucky. The prow. Ah, oh, sleepers have arisen. The trailer music. <sighs> there she is. <laughs> Good old Charlian. Oh, I see it. Home. Home at last. Well... Maybe not in father's eyes, but we'll manage on our own, if we must. You do know you're not alone in this, don't you? Indeed, tis as Sir Estinian said. Forget not the comrades who boarded this ship at your side, I prithee. Thank you, my friends. We are ever grateful for your steadfast support. Upon arrival, we will be disembarking into the heart of Charlian proper. There is no greater concentration of wisdom in all the world. I am confident 
that somewhere within that center of knowledge and learning, we will find the answers we seek. Screenshot times, man. The moon. Wow, we're here. Screenshot. Missed it. Don't, don't, don't. the solitary island nation of the northern seas. Where under the watchful gaze of Thaliac, patron deity of scholars, academics hoard all manner of knowledge and secrets. Once, they deigned to accept foreign students into a distant colony maintained in the Dravanian hinterlands. How swiftly they abandoned it once the first Galian boot set hostile foot on Alamegan soil. So averse to the prosecution of war, these men of wisdom, your would-be allies. I thought they'd never let us off the ship. What's next then? Entry applications? Port of entry. Hopefully they find no cause to deny us. Hasn't Charlie in all but severed relations with foreign powers? Those of us without direct ties, myself included, may be refused outright. Tis true that, as a nation, Charlie only forms trade agreements with a select few neutral countries. But from a practical standpoint, an island cannot afford to be overly strict with its borders. Especially not at that island's people are wholly devoted to the accumulation of knowledge. If one submits the proper paperwork, with satisfactory evidence of identity and intent, then foreigners may be granted entry. Papers, please. May. <laughs> Quite. So let us be absolutely clear on these points before we proceed. The immigration officer will ask for your affiliation and your purpose of visit. Considering Charlian's views on intervention, I strongly suggest we avoid any mention of the Scions. Kral has laid the groundwork for us to act as associates of the students of Baldessian, and our ostensible reason for being here is to aid in their order's restoration. We're students. Grahatia, it might expedite our progress should an actual student be seen at the head of our little group. Would you mind leading the way? Of course. The immigration offices were this way, as I recall. Shall we? Greetings. We've just arrived and are eager to make our way into the city. Would you be so kind as to process our entry applications? Certainly. I see by your mark you are an Archon. Quite right. I am. Grahat here of the students of Baldessian at your service. I was assigned to an Aeorsian survey team, but have returned to assist with the reformation of my order. My associates here will provide additional support. Very good. I have paperwork detailing your group and its scheduled arrival for today. Why does she look mad? <laughs> papers, please. <laughs> She's playing her own papers, And it please seems game. some few of your companions are also Archons. If you'll step forward, we can process those applications first. 
She is most definitely a Karen. Ishtola rule. What's Uriange's last name? Uriange Ange. <laughs> See how it glows. That list is etherically linked with a citizen registry kept in the main repository. Wow. So they have internet. <laughs> I've confirmed your status as Archons and amended your travel records accordingly. Welcome home. Now, who do we have here? <laughs> My bad. My bad. Ethernet. <laughs> hardwired. You're hardwired in. Alphano Leveilleur. And Alizé Leveilleur. Your applications have also been approved. Having said that... You can't see your dad. The streets are abuzz with talk of how House Leveilleur's lord disowned his young progeny. Oh. Because he's a dick. He is. Why'd you have to remind us, Karen Lollipop? Now, while such personal circumstances constitute no reason to deny you entry, I urge you to avoid exacerbating your present situation. Times are quite troubled enough already. Thanks for the tip. We shall keep that in mind. Right. Because we were going to exacerbate it. Right. These last two are not Charlian natives, but you will find their credentials are in order. An application was made in advance. Three. There's three of us. Thinkard's an archon. He's already in. Hmm. Name and occupation? What are you? Champion of Eorzea. Are you going to be a champion of Eorzea? Champion. You're not an adventurer by trade? I'm champion of Eorzea. That's me. Hold on. Let me catch up real quick, because apparently my button was, was not being pressed. It's catching up. I think you're right. I think having a chest, a, a chest, a quest chain to earn the tattoo would be awesome. That would be really cool. I agree. We are champions of Eorzea, correct? We are. <laughs> and it is a title <laughs> well earned, I can assure you. <laughs> Thanks for backing us up. Thanks, Grandma. An adventurer by trade is what your documentation indicates. No mention of this particular title. <laughs> Self-appointed, <laughs> I take it. Either way, your employer seems willing to vouch for your character, so I shall, albeit reluctantly, grant you entry. Champion. Thanks. Girl, you don't even know. You don't uh, even know. Get just, up off. just watch us. Champion and it you, up. Sir? I'm a dragon rider. Justinian Valino, formerly of the Order of the Knights Dragoon in Ishgard. Formerly, at least. And what, pray tell, is your profession now? What is up with this girl? Uh -uh. <laughs> I am Alphino's babysitter. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if you'll allow me... My associate is a mercenary, hired for his strength at arms. Surely you are aware of the dangers we often face on our forays into the wilderness. Mistress Baldessian, if you insist on sponsoring his entry, then so be it. But while I appreciate that desperate times call for desperate measures, I find your choice of company concerning. Be advised that even a single misstep may have severe repercussions for your organization. Otis Karen. Mm -mm. I have every confidence in my chosen company. 
dear and trusted comrades that they are. But I thank you for your concern. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> ah. She was just checking to make sure that all the stamps were in Coil. our papers. It is good to see you. That's why it took so long. Yeah. Likewise. Long voyage notwithstanding, you will seem none the worse for wear. There is much to discuss, but this is hardly the place. Let's be on our way, shall we? Oh! <laughs> Welcome, friends, to Charlian. Yes. Look at that. As your so mercenary, lovely. I should hope my welcome includes a generous salary. <laughs> well, I had to say something, Sir Taciturn. Sir Taciturn. I like that. <laughs> Feeling refreshed and alert? Our colleagues should be wandering in soon. So I suggest we stay here and wait for him to join us. Pray forgive me. I was delayed. Who are you checking up on? It's fine, Morionge. We're all here now. Some, some small thing. He actually couldn't join you. He had something else. Oh, okay. Sounds a little sus. Let's get down to business then, shall we? It's classic Ariadne, right? Yeah. Working with the Asians again. Come what may, we must prevent the Telophoroi's plans from coming to fruition. At present, I see two paths for gathering the information which may aid us in achieving that goal. The first involves an investigation into the change which has come over Charlian, not to mention the recent inscrutable behavior of the Forum. As most of you know, the 99 members of the Forum are elected from the general populace. This alone guarantees a plethora of opinion with regards to foreign policy. 99. The bibliotechs, for example, are a group of conservatives which would have Charlian focus on recording history while remaining entirely uninvolved in the making of it. And at the other extreme, we have advocates for proactive diplomacy and direct intervention. My grandfather Galef was one such member, as was Archon Louisois. Yet despite our diverse factions and philosophies, the recent vote to deny Eorzea's request for assistance was unanimous. Sus. Even more concerning was the fact that many cited other, more pressing duties as justification for their recalcitrance. <gasps> Good. Interesting word. Recalcitrance. Fortuno's refusal in Gridania had those same undertones. It was as if, having stared unblinking into the face of impending doom, he had simply turned away to pursue something more important. But what could that possibly be? It's a great word. What is? Recalcitrant. What does it say? Having an obstinately uncooperative attitude toward authority or discipline. Like curmudgeon, but oh. in another way. Interesting. Hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> A mystery indeed, and one which I ask for your help to solve. Our future may depend on it. As for our second potential path, it concerns a request made directly to the students of Baldessian. I haven't heard that word in a long time. Our organization was founded primarily to study strange and unexplained phenomena the world over. Mysterious relics and ruins, arcane disturbances, and so forth. Compared to our more isolationist Charlian colleagues, we have strong connections overseas, namely with scholars and academics who share our passion for the unknown. The request in question 
comes from one such acquaintance, Nidana, an alchemist residing in distant Favnair. Oh. Her missive describes the sudden appearance of a tower and the subsequent summoning of what I can only assume is a lunar primal. Oh, okay. In response to this threat, the Satrap of Rads at Han, the individual who governs the city-state, has instructed the alchemists to find a means to deal with the spire. It's a new city for you guys, Rads at Han. The artisans mm -hmm. of that land are heirs to an ancient tradition, one rather unlike that of their Uldan counterparts. It is possible, nay, probable, that they have gleaned truths unattainable by Eorzea or her Far Eastern allies. They do, in fact, appear to have a strategy in mind, though it will require further research. To that end, they have requested an introduction to a capable warrior shielded by the blessing of light. Oh, could that be? Assuming we divide <laughs> our forces to pursue both of Kral's lines of inquiry, then having you join the group heading to Thavnair would seem the obvious choice. But the investigation in Charlian is of vital importance as well. Equal, I think, to the Thavnarian one, given that the fate of the world may hinge on the results of both. Yes, it is quite the quandary. Though it is a great imposition and an altogether too common one, our efforts would be more likely to succeed were you to lead the charge on both fronts. You are indeed our champion. As to which task to tackle first, we will defer to your decision. Let us next decide how everyone else might best be assigned. We're the champion <laughs> of ours. <laughs> I'm like, um, the. Wait, I'm waiting for. What is that? What happened? <laughs> oh, we're still here. Yeah, on the weight of like an entire other civilization, Kastarium. The entire weight of the other shard, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. hey, I'm just a guy. Yeah, this just us. We're just here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll help you with your chores. <laughs> As for myself, I shall continue what I've begun in Charlian. I should also like to steal the services of an Archon or two. Mm. One so can use and magic. And thereby gain access to a greater range of reading material. I will help with that. Allow me to offer my assistance. I have some small amount of experience in the field of research. <laughs> like a few hundred years or... <laughs> God, his voice is so sexy. God damn it. <laughs> Alizé and I would also like to help, if you would have us. Anything to understand even a fraction of what our father and the Forum might be thinking. Of course, the more the merrier. Right. The rest of us will make the journey to Thavna. Thoughts? Objections? <laughs> I passed through Thavna on my way to infiltrate the Empire, and though I'm not qualified to give a guided tour, I did gain a sense of where things lie. We actually have the practical guys being like, be okay, what do we have to actually do? Yeah. So for this group, it will be you, me, and Uriange. Give me a moment afterwards, and I'll supply you with all the details of Nadana's request. Consider this hall our rendezvous point once our respective tasks are complete. May our investigations prove fruitful. Congrats, you beat the first 30 minutes of the expansion. Yay. The, the, <laughs> that's the first 30 minutes. We're at two hours. <laughs> Shit. <laughs>